probably actually causing me to have more vast usage, isn't it? Because it's having to obviously load fogging, volumetric fog, which uses cloud textures to make it um, thick and visibility low. I don't know. I know, here's how I'll do it. Departure to 5 miles on the ILS frequency. Then it's the left turn to 070 to 10 miles. So you'll come in 5, out another 10. To then turn and establish. So you, your downwind leg's effectively 15 miles long. Maintain, maintaining a 2. Say again? Too far out for 2,000 feet. We not need to be higher. What do you mean? Well, if we're 10 miles out at 2,000 feet, you see what I'm saying? Like you'd be still maintaining 2,000 feet before you start bringing this. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand your point. What I'm trying to say is that if you're 2,000 feet at 10 miles away, we'd be like way below the glide path. Yeah, but you'd be flying at 2,000 feet, just like you do when you approach Gatwick. You fly lower than the glide path to intercept it from below, then oh yeah, then true. down on it. Because um, sometimes if you intercept glide paths from above, you can end up capturing a 6 degree glide path in real world for certain airports, which can cause you to descend at 6 degree glide slope rather than 3 degree, which can cause issues for obvious reasons. Oh, yes. I've got visibility reported 900 meters here, so it's not actually too bad. I'm using Active Sky. Heathrow was down to less than 50 meters at one point yesterday. Yeah. Today, I think Bryce was down to 100 meters. It was, it was ridiculous. Uh, something took off. You, I couldn't even see it. Yeah, I had that on the way home. I was in the A4, and uh, I could hear one of the planes accelerating. Yeah. I was like looking out for it and I could hear it was rotating and I was like where the feck was it and yeah it just literally it just fucking disappeared ok so we're all happy with what we're doing maintain two mile radar separation on all traffic yeah can you just uh, run through the um, what do you call it the frequency again sorry yeah frequency should be 110.75 on your nav one you got where to put that yeah yeah, that's cool. And the uh, it should be it should be on the top, yeah. Yeah, and I need the course. The course is two three eight degrees. Cheers, thank you. Okay, I'm rolling. Two mile separation on all aircraft. Five mile outbound, fifteen mile downwind, ten mile inbound. Rolling. Uh, max speed two five zero knots. I've got tanks on just so we can keep going for a while. There is probably about a five knot tailwind component, but the runway's bloody long, so we'll be alright. 180 rotating. Gears up, flaps away. Wow, I'm it. Nearly 200 feet and already lost the ground. Good thing though, 2,000 feet might actually uh, be slightly be above the uh, weather. I don't know. Find out in a sec. It's passing one. He's active, Sky. Yeah. Don't have active Sky now. You what? I don't have active Sky. Yeah, he's got a he's got the trial, I think. Just approaching okay. two thousand feet now, leveling off. Yeah, still in the weather at two thousand feet. Just Thanks. passing four miles. Four 
five miles turning left. Zero seven zero. Actually, it's zero six eight if you want to be specific. But zero seven zero gives you two two degrees to the right, so you'll slightly you'll drift slightly further away from the airfield, which is probably better. This is different. Because of the shade program I run, it actually makes the clouds quite bright. Even though it's night time, the clouds are quite light. I don't know if it's a glitch or what. Your license key is not. Well, piss off, my fucking active sky is activated. Should I reactivate it maybe? I don't know. Nice rolling. Roger. Level zero seven zero two thousand feet, two hundred and forty knots, five miles inbound leg now. Amazing. I'm only four miles from the airfield, I can't actually see it, even the lights. Can't see you guys. <laughs> so one other thing is one one ten seven five for the street. Seven five, one one ten yeah. seven five. One one zero point seven five. Just remember, because you're not actually flying directly over the airfield, on the downwind leg it will never read zero. It will get down to maybe two miles. But I know mine yeah. got down to four miles, so I'm four miles south of the airfield and should be going away now. And you know you're going away because the glide slope line will appear also. So runway's two three eight, so you wanna be heading two four eight, two five eight, two six eight to establish, roughly, so two seventy. Oh eight's ready starting engine. Roger. What's our separation like, Aaron? Uh you're currently seven point six miles away. Nice. Bit different this. Not been able to see. It's good. I don't. We don't usually practice much of this kind of procedural flying, or as procedural as you could call this. More of it, really. Yeah. It's like the real thing, really, is it? What's hard? It, it's hard to do it though. Um, well, especially over the last few months because it's been summer, so there hasn't been the weather to do it. Yeah. Okay. So this is perfect opportunity to fly in very low vis and use your instruments only. What I did yesterday, Aaron, I done um, a couple of uh, flights. Um, Saturday evening I did Palma into Bristol and not only did I have fog, I had gusting winds too. And I was I was going to use the auto land and I thought, nah, fuck it, there you go. Let's do it like how my instructor used to do it to me because like um, when I was doing my PPR lessons and I was learning how to do trim the aircraft but do it so that I couldn't see the instruments so at first he like blocked out the instruments and I had to do it by just looking out the window and you know looking at the, the dashboards 10 miles right. turning in okay. and uh, once I got that then he done it the other way around he um, blocked out the window so I couldn't see outside and I had to do it by the instruments That's what but it's kind of like, but what happens if something comes flying towards us and we don't see it and you've got fucking windows out with maps? I'll maintain around 200 knots until about a mile, then I'll be reducing to 180 to 160. Thanks, Wally. Oh, 
We're just turning for the RS now. Turn into oh, 270. It is interesting, because un unless you're constantly watching your altimeter, you don't realise how much you sink. Yeah. You've got no reference to. Yeah, you got. By yeah. Like, I've like just sunk. I've by. sunk 200 feet in that turn. Mainly due to airspeed loss, but. Yeah, this level, is what level 270. That works sometimes. It's like, you know, but like, why didn't people look out the windows more? And it's like, well, but the whole reason why commercial planes are flying instrument rated, flying, you know, IFR rules, is that they have to train and abide by what they see in the instruments. They're trained to do that. So when it comes to visual flying, they're fucking pants because they don't know how to do it. Right, holding on the run, mate. Holding short, mate. You can carry on, mate. I got eight miles. Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm actually at one mile nine anyway, so I can still. Yeah. Well, there you go. I probably will have to hold for you now. Yeah, you will. You will. Not making it touch and goes either. It's gonna be full stops and taxi backs. Any reason why you don't mind me asking? IFR conditions. Safer. Fair enough. I'm on the glide, but not on the uh, path. I've turned in a bit too early, I think that's why. I didn't wait until the line started moving, I've just slowly done my own turn, but I literally can't see anything. So I don't even know why I turned. Then I this button that we need to press to have the lines appear up. Nope, it's automatic, as long as you're tuned in. Okay, cool. Once your gear's down. Oh no, your gear doesn't have to be down, sorry. Right, I'm three miles. But I think I'm way off course, because it's still not aligning yet. Watch that, okay, I'm holding short of two, four. This is where you realise how much you rely on visually seeing the airport. Oh yeah, of course. When you can't actually see it. There we go, my line's moving now, started turning. It's like, um, it's on finals. It like Roger, seven, two miles. Seven. I can't remember the specific airline, but there are Peter heat tubes were covered with tape because the aircraft had been uh, maintained and had a paint job. And someone didn't remove the tapes and Everything was all fine, but it was pitch black night over the sea, clear sky. So you know what that means, no fucking horizon whatsoever. And then all of a sudden they start getting misreadings with both their instruments. You know, the, the captain's things were saying that planes over speed, where the first officers were saying he's stalling. You know, they were getting so many mixed messages. Visual on the runway, I'm having to bring it down quite rapido. You'll see how out of position I am, yeah? Uh, I can't see you yet, just waiting for you to break through the clouds. Box, so should I say? But, um, yeah, it was like you know, they had no clue where they were going, whether they were heading up, Close down, on. left, or right. Breaks on. I always, I always remember watching that air crash investigation and saying to myself, you know, if ever that's the case, why do you not just get a bottle of water? These were the bottle oh, of water, you know. Be able to Roger. See Roughly how you going? Just about to vacate. That was difficult. I was I was to the left of the runway and I saw the runway last minute, I was less than a mile and I had to correct quite sharply to get down on it. I'm not quite vacated but you'll be alright to land. Roger. Just about to vacate. One point five miles. Yeah, we're vacating. Uh, I think I'm desynced with you, Matt. Yeah? Yeah, I can't see you on the runway. I can't see you from where I am, so... Can you see me coming in, Matt? Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see your lights now. Yeah. yeah I can see you, uh, Gents. I can't see Matt. I bet you can. I'm just fucking ages away. I'm almost at the opposite end of the runway. Yeah, I can't... I can see the other end of the runway lights. I can anyway. Hmm. With Actor Sky. 
Yeah, we're back to Sky. Strange. Like, I'm watching Aaron now. Mind you, oh. saying that Aaron's starting to disappear, so maybe yeah, I just can't see you. Yeah. Because your lights didn't appear till like last minute for me when you're on the ground. It's not like the runway lights, they don't penetrate quite as well. I just want to make sure you can see me now, so I'm going to taxi. I'm just coming past where we parked the C17 before. Where's that? And then through well, our that's the case our anywhere, we'll line up from rate runway 24. Roger. Mine is vacated. Roger. Roger, thank you. Yeah, the Frenchies were complaining that there's some desync happening, but... Oh, I fuck the Frenchies, who cares? It's gonna happen. If you got... They were complaining it was happening, they had like eight people flying for close formation. It's nothing to do with bandwidth at that point. At that point, it's where the flight sim can handle it. <laughs> the program itself. Yeah. I mean, I can't see your lights yet. I'm just coming past all our parking. Watch out. But I'm just riding onto the runway. Oh, should have anti ice on as well, to be honest. Because the outside air temperature is 10 degrees and there's clearly visible moisture in the air. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. This next one, I'm going to climb uh, quite high initially just to figure out where the fog ends. Because I was still in it at 2. Not that I want to get out of it, I'm just interested to know. It's right, I can just see your lights now. I'm just coming past all the fuel bowsers on the way to 1 9. See, oh me, on, see me on the right? On your right now. Yeah, Roger, I see you. Yeah, it's probably just you couldn't see me. <laughs> oh god, this ain't fucking good. My thoughts have given me jip. Abort takeoff if you have to. Lining up. I'm going to wait for five miles. I'm going to wait until you start your turn, yeah, before I even get airborne. I'm not seeing a countdown on my nav. You won't. Look in your hood, bottom right. Yeah, bottom right, I'm getting absolutely nothing. You haven't got it set right then. On your nav, you got it 110.75, but it's on the top, not the bottom. Yeah, what'd you get? Alright, just pause, have a look in your FS map then. You you might have slightly different, because I don't know where I get mine from, whether it's with the scenery or whether it's with an air rack update that I do. Uh, you might want to try 110 point. Oh, my own LS frequency is 110. Yeah, try that then, 237. Use that one instead. I've just got the, the proper one is actually the one we're using, I believe. It's with a FSX air rack update. She can actually update the nav aids. You know when you were around and I did it? Yeah. Yeah, that that's keeps them up to date, updates the ILSs and stuff. Right, I've got you yeah, I've got you about miles turning. three miles turning. Yeah, I'm showing three miles now, turning off the next. I know I was supposed to do it five. Oh shit, it's supposed to be five, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's five miles. Don't worry about it, continue the turn, I'm rolling. First rule of procedural flying, fly the procedure. Yep. I found it best to keep auto flap the whole way. Keeps you a bit more stable and you can fly slower. Okay. One thirty. Fifteen. One eighty, pull him. Climbing out. My thoughts are being really bad. I need to full stop and probably recalibrate. Roger. I'm going to climb to five miles. But I'm uh, going to climb quite high. Roger. 
Just passing 2000. See when it ends. Passing four miles, you're clear to go if you want to. I don't know where you are on the ground. Roger, mind rolling. Jesus Christ, this fog's high. Downwinds. I don't know if it's fog or cloud now, I think it's just cloud. Just passing 6,000 feet, still. Still in cloud. Uh, it goes into like broken cloud at 8,000. Descending back down, or at least five miles left turn now. Recky man, no, we're not on Vatsim at the minute. I usually fly on Vatsim, but um, this. Um, Organisation I'm flying on behalf now is we have our, pri our own private servers. Level zero seven zero. Just making my speed come back and get to two thousand. Mine is turning down with like. Roger. I think we'll have about five miles by the time you turn. Currently 5.5 miles. Alright. Cool. 8 miles out, 2 miles for turn finals. Roger. So, by the way, when you say 2,000 feet, we're doing 2,000 feet radio or 2,000 feet um, radio? Uh, uh, radio and AGL is the same. Barro. 2,000 feet on the Q&H. Sure. 10 miles, turning for finals. Roger. We're just passing the airfield, 2.5 miles on the outbound now. See if I can get it right this time. We're making a full stop landing. Yep. Passing seven miles outbound. Yeah. I'm up with the center line. I'm gonna, do a, I'm gonna do a forty degree join. Thirty degree doesn't seem to work very well. So I'll be heading. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Two eight zero is forty degrees. Uh, 
Just pressing 10 miles turning now. Level heading 280-2000 feet. Waiting to establish. What about me? Say again. Who's what about me? Roger. Oh, visibility's got 50 metres worse. I didn't see the lights so I was over the thresholds. How uh, on course were you? Uh, I was not too shabby. I was slightly off to the left of the centre line, but I was a bit too high. Alright. Intercepting. 10 miles to the finals. Roger. We're at 7 miles inbound. Roger. Quite hit the glide slope yet. I'm a little bit low, that's probably why. On the glide. On course, yes, on glide. Four miles. One is all yours. Okay. When I see it, that is. Getting back to base for um, me. Two miles. Have the lead in lights and runway visual. Just. It's quite on course that time, took it gentle. A little bit fast though. Bit of faith into the eyeless system, just hope that the one is there as soon as you see the ground. Yeah. I landed I, I landed about thirty knots too fast, but still a alright landing rate. I mean I can see why you know in this weather they do use the auto landing system big planes. Yeah. Cause it'll put you dead on centre line. Yeah. Usually. And it's not gonna send you high or low either. No. Take the element of human error out of it, don't you? Yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah. Computers is only as good as the twatty program it. Yep. Vacating. Five miles out. Roger. Oh yeah, you're a squadron leader by the way, Aaron now, in case you care. Thank you, yeah, I've seen it. Cheers.
Three miles off my old kid. I'm guessing as well with rover like this, would you um the RF not perform any formation flying or anything like that? Nah, they wouldn't do any unnecessary flying. It'd purely be operational flights. Like today. But then again at Bry's the uh, takeoff minimums like I think takeoff minimum for the Voyager is probably about seventy five meters visibility. But that's purely for taxiing. Okay. So you can steer down the runway. Cause they're well, only uh, um, they're only going to climb out of it, aren't they? Yeah. What about with, um, you know, like the, the typhoons then on QRA response? Would this type of ever affect them launching? Um. No, I think they'd still launch. They've got the equipment to perform that kind of IFR oh. flight. They don't have auto yeah. land or anything. Well, what are you doing? Me? Yeah, where are you taxiing? I'm just getting up the way so you guys can still continue to the runway. Oh, are you done here? No, I was just going to pull out the way and do my... Oh yeah, calibrate him. Actually, what I'm going to try something for... Oh, it's so fucking great to see my menus again. No, I'm going to keep saying it, but fucking hell. All it took was me forcing you to do a complete re restart of your computer. I mean, it would have been a case I would have got to doing it eventually, but you know what it's just like, it's just mm. So there's still so many things I haven't installed and... Yeah, it's, you know, I was like, the other day when I did connect to flight deck flying with um, Gareth, even though he couldn't, I couldn't move when he was master, but anyway, long story short, and I was there and I was like, He's like, let's go to Belfast. I was like, cool. I loaded up my flights and I was like, oh fuck, I haven't even got Belfast installed again, haven't I? Ah. I have to re reinstall it. You thing know, is, you don't want to spend too much time doing it if you're going to get a new computer. Yeah, I know, but you know what it's like when I'm doing flights and stuff like that. You want the scenery, so you've got yeah. nothing boring than flying into default aircrafts. Ah. Um, default airports, especially when you've got scenery for it. Yeah. And do a little bit more tweaking after this to see what I can do. The thing is that when I'm, when I'm testing my DirectX 10, I'm testing it at Gatwick with shit conditions on purpose, and it's still getting about 20 frames, dropping down once in flight to between 12 and 15, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm looking. Oh shit, that wasn't smart. What's that? Um, no comment. Hey? I think the way it's all perfectly fine, there's nothing to see here. You turn a corner or put your throttle no. on by accident. I checked my photos and it was all working okay, but then I realised I didn't have my parking brake. Park. So. No, I didn't crash into the buildings, so I didn't kill anybody. Okay, let's make it interesting now. 1000 feet is your, uh, your limit on height, 500 feet is your minimum. That's on the uh, QH. Um, first turns at three miles, and then your turn to establish is at five miles. Oh, so you're going to be wanting to. Uh, so the pressure's on a bit. You're not going to have as much time. So if anything, you want to fly a bit slower if you want to give yourself more time. That's and you that. and you're going to be wanting to turn tighter on on the turns to actually get on the ILS rather than overshoot the ILS or miss it completely. And end up going over the runway at your uh, intercept heading. What's that alternate airfields? Alternate would be Coningsby. I'm going to Coningsby. <laughs> I'm taking. Don't know what the weather's Airfield. like there. Don't know if it's even worse. Rolling. Yeah, that's a good idea. Doing a quick engine test with my parking brakes on this time. Ah. One eight. Cool. Uh, basically, what it is, you know, with the the um, data throttle pod, you got the three um, elements, obviously, because it's based, like it says, so you got yeah. the throttle, your pitch, and your mixture. 
basically my throttle one was the one that's playing up because I've only got one axis set for all engines. Okay. Basically what I've done, I've switched it to the middle one which is my mixture and my mixture is running a lot smoother with little to no spiking at all. Yep. So hopefully that would make things a lot easier for me. So. Okay, I'm going to level off 600 feet just about to start the first turn. Starting the turn now. Eight seconds to the runway. Nine is rolling. Cheating um, a little bit here, I can actually see the ground a bit. What's the um, buttons to in brightness of your HUD? Increase the brightness of your HUD? Yeah, mine's a bit dark, dim. Um, I don't know, there is. Have a look, uh, middle. Possibly, well, the knobs for it are there, but I don't know if they're active and do anything. Where are the knobs, mate, sir? Um, below your centre console. They just put the uh, the screens on and off. Oh, there you go then. Level downwind heading. Uh, three three point seven miles. Oh, I suppose I just have to deal with it. Yep. Right, I'm at eight hundred feet. Faintly see the ground. So just to confirm, 3 mile out turn, left turn, 1000 feet maximum, 500 feet minimum, and 5 mile turn to the final. Yep. yep. I'm at 3 miles, waiting to turn. Gears down. Uh, I'm at the holding point, is it clear for me to go? Yeah. But I'll do a rolling start. Um, where's your position, mate? Uh, downward, like, currently... Four miles per map. Heading zero eight three. Five miles turning. Finals. Yeah, rolling. I'm actually rotating. Funny thing is, I'm going to be at about two miles by the time I'm actually established on the path and the slope. Gear and flap set. Three miles. Still not actually uh, established. That's interesting, popping out that layer of low fog that I've got, um, I had brightness has increased randomly. Yeah, it might be the clouds affecting it. Turning him. I was turning diamonds. Roger, I'm on finals, on glide and path, uh, slope and path. Turning for finals. Visual runway leading lights. 0.6 miles. Visual runway. Three miles on final. I find I've been coming in a bit faster for these landings. 
Purely so you got the Yeah. <laughs> On the ground. Still been good landing rates. Okay, thing. Runway clear. It's downwards. One and a half miles for your downward plane. Apparently visibility is a mile now. That seems to be getting better. Mm. Start to see patches of ground finally in the fog. I'm going to perform a, uh, a queue departure. I've got loads of fuel that I want to use up. So I'll do a queue departure to uh, 20,000 feet. Get my bearings and then. Uh, what do you mean by queue departure? QRA departure. Okay. Max everything. I'm happy that we've all. Uh, had a chance to do this. It's good. Could get a chart out next and start flying an actual uh, TACAM procedure. Okay. Inbound radials, outbound radials. Holding pattern. Five miles, ten in finals. Roger. You landed yet, Aaron? Yeah, I'm just sucking guy to me. I didn't, I didn't even see you land. See Stephen land in a sec. Oh shit. I'll hold at the holding point. They pressure them, Matt, thanks. Yeah. I'll be watching the game. I, contact, I contacted Rockstar, Stephen. Oh yeah. They're giving me loads of bollocks and even more bollocks to do, so I've done it all. I just haven't tested it yet. Okay, what did they get you to do? Oh, a few different things, but I don't think it'll be anything that makes a difference at all. Fair enough. It's all like troubleshooting stuff rather than actual fixing it. If you get what I mean. Hey, they, they're just clutching the straws. Um, it's like, the whole reason why I'm contacting you is because I've tried everything in my powers to get it to work, it's not working. Fix it. Yeah. No, but we need you to try this before we fake look. I don't, it's like the same, I had it with BT all the time. Can you try this? Look, I know it's not working, I've tried those things. The whole reason why I'm calling you is to get the fix, because I don't know anything else that's going to make it, you know, work. Where are you at, Steve? Uh, I'm three miles. Can't see you yet. I can't see you, I'm apparently on the left of the runway still. Oh, I see it now, you know, I'm all fluffed up, going around. Oh yeah, I'll see. Look at you, you shit can. <laughs> Departing. Obviously, do a max rate climb. Pull out the fog. Feel free to uh, join me if you want, Aaron. Sure will. Steve, you can either join us or do another one and then join us or whatever. Bit of formation above the weather. Oh, fuck it, I'll come and join you. Yeah, let's do a formation above the clouds then. Yeah, max power, go. You can catch up in a sec. Let's get above it. Can an aircraft be called into QA, QRA while in the air? Um, they can be, wouldn't usually be. So they might okay. not be equipped for it. 400 knots pulling up. About 10,000 feet above the clouds. Yeah, Roger. I'll catch you two miles in front of me. Passing 4,000. Probably see you, see you. I'll 
I'll see your lights once I hit clear sky. Probably go night vision as well. Visual. That might be Aaron though. Yeah, that's Aaron. Jesus Christ, you have shot past me. How'd you do that? No idea. Yeah. Oh, I'm carrying externals. Maybe that's why. Yeah, sure, boy. Oh, weird. What fuel you got? Uh, it's currently oh. seven thousand six. Jesus Christ! How have you used so much fuel? I've been uh, going doing circus before you joined the session. Ah, okay. That'll be why. I've got twice the amount of fuel as you. Got your visual, Steve. What's your speed? Four hundred knots. Roger, closing. Where are you off, Aaron? We're below you. I just, yeah, I just lost my bearings over to us. Oh, okay. Do a uh, left turn zero seven zero. So we don't get too far away. You're still at four hundred. Uh, well, four ten. Push your throttle out, Steve. Oh, is that just showing just um, under six o'clock precision code? Right. I'll probably drop because now I'm out of the turn. Looks more like five o'clock precision. Okay. Call them formation ILS. So uh, we're at 20 miles now. Keep going till we are 15 the other side. Then descend us in, line us up. We'll just fly formation off you. I'll take left, you take right, Aaron. Roger. Well, we landing or just. Um, I would say run and break, but it's going to lose visual on each other so quickly. Could turn into yeah. each other. So, um, we'll make it a run and break, but it's a, a flight run and break. We don't break off from each other, we all just break into a left downwind. Okay. Speed? Speed's 14 knots still. Right. We've got a crosswind at 38 knots here, right to left. Yeah, same. Visual Then that's the other thing that baffles me about fog. Okay, why should we be able to see more than that sixteen thousand feet through fog, you know, looking down? Real world we shouldn't. 
It's the way FSX renders it. What is FSX? What FSX does, it renders the weather around you. Is that why then you don't see overcast thunderstorm clouds, you know, um, you know, when you fly high up and it looks, you know, clear to the skies with a few clouds and there's front lightning strikes? I don't know. FSX and it's weird wonderfulness. Mm. Yes. Good boys. Got a seven miles outbound now. I'm showing nine on mine now. Yeah, just coming up to nine. Three. Yeah, I'm getting there. that as well. Okay, uh, if you lose visual, Aaron, break away to the right. If I lose visual, I'll break away high. Stephen, you just continue. We'll avoid. Roger. Roger. Take us down when you're ready. That's done. Have the Just throttle up. We cut the falls to idle. Okay. I was idle following. I was going to start my left hand turn to finals. 3, 2, 1, left hand turn. Following. Intercept course of 280 again. Up to you. I don't know how wide we are. 280 will probably work there. We do from this far out. Left Struggling there. <laughs> yeah, just a bit, mate. I'll bring it back. Getting too twitchy. I'm doing it myself as well, so. I'll be on it like a hawk. Good, because any second now, here it comes. Whee! Nah, I'm breaking off, boys, I'm breaking off. Roger. Break off, come back round and do your own approach. Roger. When you lose visual on me, huh? Yeah, the wind was jerking us about and I nearly smacked into you, so... I yeah, thought it was safe me. to break off. Me through through my screen. Yeah, I'm starting to fly through the fog now. The fog lost visual when you're there. Hey? But I'm through the fog and I've lost visual on you. You've lost visual? Yep. Behind and left. I can still see you alright. How about now? Negative. Negative, still don't see you. Serious? Yeah. Turn in thin sets. Okay. That could be my night vision. If I turn my night vision off. Yeah, turn that off. Yeah, negative uh, Night vision doesn't like fog for a start. Yeah, now I'm right to this now. Dance. Okay. Still 
we might have to get back with the same way. It's really low, comes up a little bit. It's coming down. See me yet? Bye bye. Are you still to the left? Yeah, left and behind. The negative, so I don't see her. Not through my canopy anyway. Okay, strange. I'll come to the left of you, see if you see me then. See me? Yep, no, I see you, quite as well. Maybe I was just a little bit far back, that's why you're not seeing me. Because I'm so close in. Fair enough. Four miles. Speed you doing? I've got 240 at the moment. Oh, yeah. We're only three miles out. Yeah, I know. Wind falls back now. Nine miles out, push. Behind this one. Roger. Are we actually committing to a landing here, Matt, by the way? Yeah, go on. Okay. In the lights. Visual. Adjusting left. I'll take left or okay. runway. Ten. Done. Wheels on. Wheels on. Breaking. Ten. I bet that looked good from your ends. Looks alright, yeah. Thirty knots. Nice. Oh, it's so much nicer now, I'm not getting so much spike, um, spiking in my throttles. Hmm. Okay, here? Uh, can we make it? Oh, yeah, here we go. We'll taxi in and wait for him. Three miles, we'll find out. Roger. It's a nice little flight. Yeah, it's an hour. It's vacated. Roger! One mile. Roger. I got a decent landing then, 149. Mine was a little bit rough there. Yeah, 524 that one. But You got a flap out? Oh yes, I have. There you go. You dirty bastard. No, I just don't. I can't even see you. I'll look out for you. Let's see when we see him. There he is. Oh, I don't think I had my landing light on the whole time. Yeah, I didn't have my landing Oh. <laughs> just reflects off the fog. Yeah. That's what I did when I had to go to work this morning. It was, it was reasonably bad. I've had worse 
and I was expecting a lot worse because last night, you know, the, the weather was appalling last night. I could barely see out the end of my street. Um, yeah, it was just literally a case. I turned my lights like virtually pointing down to the ground. There's no point yeah. trying to get them forward because they're just not going to work. And I think it just makes things worse for you. Yeah. Well, well, I just in the time in the morning, I don't get much traffic going to work, so I just took my time. Nice. You got permanent yet? Uh, not yet. But there's a lot of talk from the guys around the warehouse talking to Zach. Saying about getting me on full time because you know I'm a good cent. Oh. Yeah, I'm just getting the shit because at the moment it's kind of like you know I'm having to treat it like freelance work as it is. You know I'm only as good as my previous day work. And, you know where all the others are kind of like more relaxed and chatting away and stuff like that. I'm just kind of trying to stay away from that and get on with my work to get it done. It's like you know I've got everything done what I needed to do today. And they come up to me and they said, Oh, Steve, can you just quickly finish off all this job for them? And I looked at the job and I looked at cash. I like, Oh, I don't have this done easy, no problems. And I got upstairs and they literally, it was only a three page job, so it wasn't exactly massive. And uh, they barely even touched it. And I just remember thinking, You've just been sitting around in your arse all day, the one job you've had to do, and you haven't even bothered to do it. I managed to get it all fucking tested and put it out into the job in 30 minutes on my own. I had to stay a little bit longer, but then afterwards, then it was like, Can you help me load? You love it. Yeah. I know sometimes when push comes to shove, but I find it frustrating that how, as a temporary, I stay behind and do the job, but the full time staff fuck off and go home. Yeah, you're going right here to go around the back. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm just so used to coming the other way. I'm going to post a link on the forum to this. So they can see how bad the UK weather is. Mm. Pea soup. This is actually good compared to last night's. Yeah, it's not as bad as last night. I mean, last night on the stream, I couldn't actually see the runway until I was over the numbers. So the aircraft was completely doing everything. I'll take the third one open. Alright. I'm taking this one. Oh, Is it I thought it'd be cool for all three of us to turn in at him at once, but yeah. Shut down. That fucks out completely. Yeah, fuck you. No, <laughs> <laughs> sir. The world respects. Banker. <laughs> Sorry, that's my threat. Thank you, gentlemen.